Yes, brothers and sisters, we are finally back again for another one, another reaction on this ABR, BPTV, be real, be positive television, brothers and sisters. I'm not sure if I'm going to be dropping another reaction on the Miss Lake's reaction, guys, but I'll be dropping two on this ABR, BPTV channel, guys. So with that said, let us get into the vibrations for today right there. This is, of course, a video of an individual known as Andy. And of course, he's pretty much speaking about the fiasco that is going away, Dominic, um, Dominic, Dominic Electrical Company. And of course, he's going to break that down for us. I'm going to give my views on it. And what have you? You know how it rolls already. Let's go. Scheduled interruption mm -hmm. due to capacity management. By the way, there will be scheduled interruption today as well, Tuesday. I think it's going to be in the postwar region as well. Um, I think they had scheduled interruptions two days ago. Um you know and i think before that two days ago so it seems like every two days they take a night in the in particular areas right there but of course i know for one thing they don't seem to be taking lights in mon daniel have you seen them schedule any power outages for them uh, for 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 mon daniel let me know brothers and sisters in the comment box below and then if you you think about this <laughs> you know think about you know who has priority to get electricity or not i'm just saying what does that really mean Yes, you okay, know what schedule interruption is. If you don't know, you should know by now. Yes, schedule interruption. Capacity management, <laughs> though, is a strange word. It's a new word. Mm -hmm. Let me venture to explain it. Talk to us. Uh, you, as the consumer, the, cons the customer, you mm -hmm. consume electricity. Yes. Uh, electricity must be supplied to your home for use on your appliances. Mm -hmm. That electricity that you consume is termed demand mm -hmm. because you are demanding that power. Yeah. And Domlek must give you that power. It must so supply that's demand. Uh, it can be used interchangeably with load. So load, demand is the same thing. You are the consumer. Mm -hmm. Domlek is the supplier. So a demand is made on the supplier or we can say on the supply. Mm -hmm. When a demand is made on the supply, the supplier must be able to, supply. to give, to sell, <laughs> to produce mm -hmm. in domlek's case domlek must generate electricity yes. so you can get it mm -hmm. so domlek then is has what is called generating capacity because for you to give anything you must have the capacity to give it yeah. and domlek capacity is really a generating capacity because they generate electricity which is interesting that you stay in stating this you're saying for somebody to give somebody something they have to have the capacity to have it if they have the capacity to have it, then they give it. However, why is Dominic making promises to people? Hey, we'll give you electricity and you'll have electricity flowing through. And then they have the unscheduled or scheduled um, um, outages. Because there are places that have scheduled outages and there are places that get unscheduled outages as well. I am paying for something and you're not giving me the service, which means you are not capable to handle the service that you're giving me. Because based on what you're saying right there, it is based on the capacity to do so. When you're providing something for somebody and the person is paying you for something, you don't just say, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll look into it later on. No. You have to have the capacity to provide that capacity that is needed by the people. And therefore, if it's needed by the people, what do you do? You take the necessary steps that are needed to have it done. All right. So they must, in other words, if you demand... 17 megawatt like the manager said Dominic must have the capacity within their generators to produce slash generate 17 megawatt of power mm -hmm. combined when the demand exceeds the ability to supply you have a problem and that why is that do why does the demand so in other words i i think they're they're making projections for example i think back in 2014 or 2016 when the prime minister was talking about 11 kilowatts and now they're talking about 17 kilowatts, right? Now, on the basis of that, you see in the projections of things, you decide one of the problems Domlex say they have is that they have old generators that are not generating the thing. That's not our problem. You know the demand is increasing. Therefore, you do what needs to be done. What are, what are people paying electricity for? And high prices of electricity too. Dominica, like I said it yesterday, has one of the highest prices for electricity. One of the highest, if not the highest now. I think it was tied to the United States, but it's interesting when you look at the United States. United States, um, people are not paying high exorbitant fees, especially in places like Texas. 
people literally getting days off or, or, or a time frame off i know two individuals one was getting um, free electricity from 6 8 8 8 p.m to 6 a.m the other one was getting free electricity from 6 p.m on friday to 12 a.m monday morning early monday morning free electricity now brothers and sisters we also have hydroelectrical um hydroelectricity and this kind of things there but it seems like let me let me let that run properly let me let it run properly i'll talk about it in a while that's exactly the fiasco that dominic has found himself in dominic is unable to meet the demand of the consumers the consume that's not the consumer's fault this issue is not the consumer's fault and should not be bothered by these things. They should get the thing. Domlek should have prepared themselves. They don't have no projection path or nothing like that for them to be able to adapt to what needs to be done or buy the necessary equipments that need to be done. What are they going to do? Blame um, 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 Maria, like, like um, why, is, why is his name again? Skerit. He could blame in Maria and Eric and these things there that happened a long time ago for what is happening today. He even bl they even still blaming UWP. <laughs> The 20 plus, 23 plus years ago, 20 plus years ago. Okay then. Anyways, let's continue. Now, capacity. Let's talk a little bit about capacity. Capacity is simply your ability to have or to produce it. Dominic has generators to generate. Let's use some fictitious numbers. Let's say Dominic has 20 generators. Mm. Each of them rated at 1 megawatt. 1 megawatt is a 20 million megawatt. watts, by the way. A what? Each of them rated at 1 megawatt. One megawatt is a million watts by the way. Okay, okay. That means Dominic has capacity of 20 megawatts. Mm -hmm. 20 sure. generators each rated at one megawatt, Dominic has a capacity of 20 megawatts. And you might say they should be able to generate 20 megawatts. No, that's not the case. 20 megawatts in Dominic language is <laughs> called 20 megawatt of installed capacity. So apparently Domlek have its own language outside of other countries. So if other countries are producing 20 megawatts, Domlek might have the capacity to, or, or not have the capacity, capacity. they might have the, the, the equipment to produce 20 megawatts, but apparently it's not 20 megawatts. You might get 19 or 18 megawatts. <laughs> So capacity is different from available capacity. Available Every capacity, day, yeah. If you have a generator that should generate one megawatt of power and it's old, chances are it has been derated it no longer can do a, 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 a one megawatt megawatts. so it might be derated to 800 thousand so it's <laughs> i just see that <laughs> i just see that day that's crazy so the 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 is below the capacity that it was sold at because it's old it's not able probably leaking oil the whose fault is that it leaking oil has nothing to do with consumers your ability in business is to meet the demand of the people simple Especially when you have one of the highest costs for electricity, especially in the Caribbean. I think I think that, that when I read the article, it states the world. I think it's they state, but that was back in that was back in the day, but back in the day equal to United States. But now Dominic has has gone through the roof, so it might be the number one for electricity. I don't know. I could be wrong, brothers and sisters. But what are your thoughts, man? Do you think Dominic has? Or do you, in your in your thought understanding, do you think Dominica has the highest? Because when I read the article, I think the article is about four or five years ago. And no, maybe, was it 2022 or that's a different article? Anyways, brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts? Do you think that Dominica has the highest electrical um, thing for individuals who travel a lot? Let me know your thoughts. I know it's definitely not as high as the United States. No, no, what I'm saying there, I know Dominica one is much more higher than the United States. I, I know individuals that have fridges in their house and they only pay five dollars a month for the fridge <laughs> anyways let me continue and so if that generator is taken off for maintenance so it has broken down that's a generator you don't have hmm. so instead now you have 20 megawatt of power you you have available to you 90 let's put it that way dominic also runs a hydro system hmm. and the hydro system produces power based on the availability of water true so if dominic has installed capacity at the hydro of mm. five megawatt of power mm. but the lead so five million watts is below half the level as it is now mm. we'll probably be able to harness maybe about half of that so uh, that guys and this is one one of the things i was saying earlier on brothers and sisters we talking about hydroelectricity in america 
And then we also say we are the nature of the Caribbean and we have 365 rivers. And I've been mentioning this from time to time again. Brothers and sisters, in what, five to ten years now, Dominica are going to face drought, you know. You know why? Because we're not taking care of our rivers. Look at all the rivers. I remember as a little boy jumping into Lai River, jumping into Indian River, swinging on vine in Indian, in, in Indian River, in, in, in Picard River. Doing all sorts of things, surfing in, in, in Lai River. We swim to go to the hot part of, of, of Lai River, the, the, surf, um, um, the, the, the surf, surf freak part of, of, of Lai River. Swimming, brothers and sisters. Now it's like a mountain, you have to be climbing to go inside there. What I was passing over that. And then you're looking at what is happening right now, brothers and sisters, and then you wonder, but wait, what's what going on there now? We're not protecting the rivers. And if Dominic was smart enough, there will be dams in certain areas, brothers and sisters. If you build dams in certain ways, and look at nature now. When beavers build in dams, what happens? The place that they build the dams, the water fills up. And when the water fills up, you will have several areas you can open up if it's electrical or you want to do it manually to open up floodgates or whatever so that the turbines can turn. And upon having several of these things on the dams, you can then produce capacity constantly. But you don't have in dams, so you can put that. I don't understand how we, how we, how we. Anyways, let me continue. I, I really don't get it. Set up the things, put trees, tell, tell people to stop cutting trees down. Make sure that the rivers have adequate areas to um, um, attract water with the leaves and the trees around them. Protect these things, build up dams so that the river can fill up. When the river fills up, you have certain areas that you can have hydro plants there that turns the turbine. It's all about friction, you know, brothers and sisters. Electricity is about friction. The way the tidal waves is about friction in making that causing the heat and heat creates electricity. The same geothermal turning the, the steam turning turbines constantly. Turning the turbines that create friction, that create heat, and then creates electricity. I mean, we we we, we we are the nature of the carbon and we don't know these things. I, fi I find that very, very interesting. Yet, still water, rivers going down. And we were, heard <laughs> nothing happening. Where I made a comment on, on, on Miguel Henderson thing. A number of, the, the, our leaders seem not to be, not to look at preventative measures. And sometimes they wait the last minute to do things. And sometimes they wait even after the minute is up to try to do things. When it's too late already. This is why you don't have people who think, and this is why I wonder what happened in Domlek. I mean, since after scary them take over, Domlek just go down the drain. Who are the people in charge of these things? You have a set of maybe incompetent people. You know the generators going, so you don't say, guys, we need some new generators so that we can, you know, have them, the, the new generators as backup. And just in case if they finally fail, we can then shift them or switch them over. You don't think that would be, 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 be smart? You know, something to think of, visionary. I remember Reginald was talking about scared being visionary to save some $500 million somewhere. He never knew he could be this smart. And so we, we, we not, we not, we're not visionary for our electricity that affects the people. Every other day they take in electricity in Dominica. We hear that happening across the, the, across the, the place. And you can't say it's based off of, of heat. Because all the Caribbean islands facing it too, and they're not losing electricity like that. Therefore, it's a dumb leg problem. And if it's a dumb leg problem, dumb leg should understand, hey, we need to do certain things, get the necessary equipments. We know that our generators are getting old. We know, and therefore we'll produce less capacity. It was producing 11 back in the day. We have the same generators producing 11, trying to make it produce 17. When it's going to be... <laughs> I mean, we, we need to think, eh? we need to think properly. To add to the system. Therefore, you cannot calculate the installed capacity as the available capacity. Available capacity is very pretty much what you have what you get in. to you to use. So, again, if Dominic is demanding 70 megawatts of power, but the available capacity that they have at the moment, based on generators that are broken down, generators that are derated, uh, the inability of the hydro to give them too much help because of the low water, all I hear in there is what could have been done here. We have old generators. We could have gotten new generators if our, our leaders were so focused on maintaining, hey, we need to ensure that we have good capacity or, pro, pro, or, 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 or even think of the near future of having even more capacity. Who knows? Especially when World Korea Music Festival is coming up. 
People are coming down to be in Dominica. What are they going to stay in darkness too? We're going to be on, 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 on the beach with, with marshmallows singing Kumbaya. That, that's what we're going to be doing. Huh? I mean, nothing wrong with that, you know, if you want to do that. But at least have electricity there so we can actually do this instead of having, having to be forced to do it. I think it makes more sense in that regard. Don't you think so? I could be wrong, brothers and sisters. But I think I think a lot of people, all our, our leaders are not are not are not visionaries. They don't think, or oh, oh, a generator is breaking. No, okay, let's see if we can we can fix it. You don't thinking about buying some, no, to have there or set them up just in case if they, the generators finally finally break down. Huh? We want to wait for them to break down. We want to wait, Dominica, in darkness, man, for us to say, okay, let's buy the generators and we like need to get more jet and. Dominic now has said, he's, he's basically saying that you are demanding 17.1 megawatt of power, but maybe I'm only able to give 14 or 50 megawatt based on the available capacity. So that's where capacity management comes into play now, because you have X amount of capacity, you have a greater demand, so the only way you can really rectify that problem or deal with it is to reduce the demand. So don't really The only way, uh uh, the only way to meet the demand is to get the necessary equipment. If you have 20 that generating 15 megawatts, I need 17. Get five more. Now. Get five more. If you don't want to get 20 new ones, get five more to meet the demand. And as time goes by, when more money is coming in, you then buy another one, then another one, and then another one if we have to go that way. Because you can, apparently you can buy all 20 new generators. You cannot do these things, apparently. And the hydros, they, they need to set up dams. I mean, I mean, how I know this? And the people in, 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 in charge of these things don't know to, to set up dams so they can have the hydros on the wall. How I know this and they don't know this? We call it capacity management. Um, maybe they correct in their own way, but I personally think that it's not capacity management, but it's rather load management or demand management. Because they really... But the demand is on the basis of the people. And I don't think it's the demand at all. Because Domlek should be proactive in making sure that they know, they, they project what is going to happen and prepare for it. Why do you think people pay in Domlek for, 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 for fun? Eh? Not for them to get the services that they need for for them to do their daily lives huh? me, me okay i could be wrong not into uh, altering the capacity the capacity they have is what they have they they, they haven't bought any new generators my point they haven't added any geothermal so that my point and we had geothermal for donkey years nine years not a light bulb light brothers and sisters not even a light bulb they say, I think they, I, when I read the article, I think they say we are wind, but I think the wind one was in Rosalie. Rosalie self, wind turbine doesn't turn. I don't think anybody went to fix fix it or nothing like that. So, but you know, you, as, what we can do in Dominica, if we have struggles, my goodness, at least buy some solar light, um, solar um, 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 panels now. I see Saint Kitts have a set of them. Saint Kitts have a set of solar panels, they have a solar farm. We, how, how we cannot do that? And we, we why uh, we talk about heat now is the best time for us to have this thing so we can get we can suck energy from the same heat from the sun you know heat creates electricity you know that kind of vibe creating an energy and, and and you know electricity as a result that's just the capacity they have they can't do better but what they can do is to reduce oh they cannot do better wait a while you say they cannot do better they cannot do better because they refuse to be to 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 make um necessary um steps that that would prevent what is happening today because they cannot do better or they refuse to do better which one i think they refuse to do better i re i think they refuse to do better and then they're making the people pay a set of prices and they're not getting the proper services any geothermal so that's just the capacity they have they can't do better but what they can do is to reduce the load that is demanded of the system through a process called load shedding so so they're taking lies from people that cannot be the solution eh? that is what is happening as a result of the lack of people having the vision to see hey guys we need to buy proper equipments we need to make sure that we set up certain things so that we can, you know, have proper... I mean, if the government and Domlek... The, the, dom, the government by Domlek. Eh? Government by Domlek. I would think that they can say, hey, guys, you know what? We want to do what... And I heard the government talk about alternative energy. Hydro, of course, is one of them. 
solar is another one we have to, we have the atlantic ocean and we can use it but then that, that one might be a set of money but we can get solar devices we can get solar um, and panels we can get these things and stick them on a mountain that producing for people you don't have to take all over the whole all over the place we consider ourselves to be the nature island of the caribbean yet still our main thing is is on on on, on oil for us to <laughs> Boy, I tell you, boy, I, I don't know how we thinking in this place. I don't I really, guys, and it's not to say I want to see certain things, you know, but I, it's evident. Look at they have they are resorting to load shedding now where they're taking electricity from people so they can save or they can meet demand. They, 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 if they, they can produce 15 and it's 17, well, we can only produce up to 17, up to 15, and then the two will have to go dark during the two. The, the, the two other me uh, megawatts that is needed? I mean, come on, people. Really, they say in capacity management, before they used to say load shedding, it's, it's the same thing. They really load shedding. And how do they do that? Well, very simple. Turn off. The productive part of the economy or, or the, eco the economic drivers of the country, so to speak, like the town, places that manufacture, Canfield Industrial Estate, where you have Clay Harbour, who is the biggest employer, Use clear of the clear above clear above their own generators. That's something that they thought of, and they say, okay, you know, electricity goes in Dominica. They have their own generators. They, you 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 want to ensure that this area remain uh, energized because they, they need the energy to produce, and they are big producers. You cannot tamper with the hospital, the airport. When, when the hospital only the other dinner, electricity they go, they go in the hospital. <laughs> I don't know, but didn't electricity go in the hospital the other day? Maybe in the in the old hospital, new one. I don't know, but I saw something like that <laughs> so on this schedule. I don't know if it's true or not, but brothers and sisters, that's very interesting, right there. Port, certain big hotels, because depriving them of energy will have more dire consequences than if you say interrupt uh, agricultural village. Yeah, we appreciate the breadfruit. But our, and the driving force. Let me bring it back. And the driving force of the economy, the people. So if the driving force is the people, shouldn't we give the people priority? And I understand people from overseas coming for the hotels and what have you. Yes, true. Well, the hotels should have their own generators. But I think the priority should be put on the people. I mean, the people are paying. <laughs> Dumb, like, you know, the majority of things is paid by, by the people of the country. I think the people who have the majority stake when it comes down to consumerism and paying, you know, a company need to have the first stake, not the last one. I know when 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 Eric um Maria came, they tried to put back um um you know Ross's electricity first, which makes sense because you know electricity uh, Ross was using probably one of the highest um 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 generators for 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 the electricity. How Ross leave? We're not using them generators and whatnot. What have you to produce electricity for 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 Ross? Which means we have to have less electricity being being consumed because Ross is no longer there. We having less now, but we have more problems now. So if Ross was their brothers and sisters, we in problem. We in serious problem. But then again, Ross has their own generators. Because I remember when lights used to go and we didn't know lights go, you know, we just hear a little flicker sometime, plick. And everything switch over and then plick. When the electricity come back, it switch back. More dire consequences than if you say interrupt uh, agricultural village. Yeah, we appreciate I understand that sentiment, true. The breadfruit and the planting. But the fact is you don't need energy to produce these things. The energy is more of a convenience and an entertainment to these people and therefore That's they true. will be removed from this system in terms of in case of load shedding. The one problem we have with areas like this, especially on the east coast, where you have a, a, a larger agricultural based communities, they don't consume a lot. So you may take off the entire east and realize it's just a drop in the bucket. Then you go target in places that similar, they have electricity for personal use, more or less. But uh, they are larger consumers. It's like Kinfield, Massac, St. Joe, Salisbury. They are bigger communities. They consume more power. And therefore, if you remove them from the network, you will then be able to fall within your ability to supply whatever demand that you've reduced it to with the limited capacity that you have. So that's enough. Guys, this is the video I'm going to be doing next. This is an interesting one as well. But what he's saying there, I understand, you know, the whole dynamic of, you know, who has priority of the electricity. But who are priority of electricity should not matter. Domlek should have said, hey guys, we need more generators, let's buy more generators. 
Why over 200 and something million dollars going to scare it budget and we cannot get generators? Huh? Help me make that make sense, brothers and sisters. The office of the prime minister is getting, oh, I think, 264 million dollars. Last budget, they had over 364 or 300 and I think, I can't remember the exact thing, but I think it was 300 and something million dollars went to the office of the prime minister. You mean to tell me that we cannot take some of the millions of dollars or the $64,000 that are going to scare its house? <laughs> that going to scare its house, them, um, the, the, the apartment, them. You, you mean to tell me we can't take some of that money to put, put in electricity to buy generators? Huh? We paying him and sixty four thousand dollars to stay in, in his 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 house, his apartment, whatever they calling it, and we cannot buy generators or additional new generators that would meet the demand for the people. We are involving load shedding right now, brothers and sisters, where they taking electricity because they cannot meet the capacity for the people. They cannot meet the demand of the people. Help that help me help that make sense to me, brothers and sisters. Help me make sense with that. Anyway, brothers and sisters, tune in for the next reaction. I'll be doing a bit later on. This is definitely this one right there. I think this is it. But it's definitely tossy. I have the video on my, my thing, so I'll check it out. With that said, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts, man. Is it just me? What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. This is pretty much all about for this here reaction video. And of course, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next BRBPTV reactions. Tune in, brothers and sisters. Remember, guys, be real, be positive. Thank <laughs> you.